What's good, homies? We about to be litty, no cap. You found the Madden plug. Now hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell on. I'm about to put you on. Coin making methods, no money spent tips, budget beats on the 500 bands, 300 bands, 100 bands. Whatever you need, I got you. I got that daily Madden work. Now let's get it. You heard? Damn, son. Say, hey, yo. I said, hey, yo. No shmoney spank gang. We in a building and you know that. What is shaking, y'all? You already know what time it is, man. Holla. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell to fuck on. We is all the way to fuck, let you dig you. Already know. With that being said, man, if it's your first time on this channel, man, check it out. I'm about to show you a graph, a graph just like this. And I do this type of graph for every single promo that comes out. And what I'm doing on this graph is I'm looking for budget beasts. And I take those budget beasts and I compare them to the best cards in that position. If not the most expensive cards in that position. I'm going to help you save some chicken, you dig? I said, hey, yo. Team of the week, five and six. You already know, talk to them. Now listen, man, we're going to go over the cards, okay? And I'm going to drop some money methods. You already know the deal, man. I'm going to hook you the fuck up. You already know, bro. These... Yo, but how y'all feel about season three? How y'all feel about that most fear, bro? That's what I'm about to be. Liddy, bro. These... Liddy. Anyways, man. Let's get straight to the cards because we got a decent amount of cards to go through, man. And most of, you know, most of these joints, we're probably going to go one for one, man. You know what I mean? Just to keep it short, just so we can get to the chicken. You already know what time it is. Now, they ended up dropping a 90 overall wide receiver, man. Shout out to the ball, Keenan Allen. Finally cooking up where he should be. Now, the ball going for about 600K. Y'all know the slogan, man. 600K, we ain't going to pay. Now, we are going to compare him to... Another wide receiver that hopped out today that's actually, yo, super budget beast, band though to the core. This joint is all the way lit. And when you see the stats on this joint, you're going to be like, yo, Montana, I frucks with you, Montana. I, where's the boy at? Yo, I can't even find the homie. How much he going? Oh, he going for like, he going for a decent little amount. It's going to be the ball. Okay? Shout out. New York, stand the fuck up, man. You already know, man. Shout out to the Mets, too, man. We, we down and we down right now. Points right now. Anyways. I gotta finish this video so I can get back to the game. Anyways, 87 overall, Darius Slayton, man. We're gonna throw the ball in there. We're gonna see what's shaking, okay? Now, from left to right, we got the ball. Keenan Allen in blue. He is 6'2. Darius Slayton in red. He is 6'1. When it comes to speed, Allen, 88. Slayton, 89. Acceleration, Allen, 90. Slayton, 88. Catching, Allen, 90. Slayton, 82. Short route running, Allen, 90. Slayton 86, medium route running, Allen 90, Slayton 84, deep route running, Allen 87, Slayton 89, yo this ball turned the fuck up, you dig what I'm saying man, listen, is Keenan Allen worth 600 bands, listen bro, he comes with all tier 1 abilities, you know, energizer, persistent, recoup, all for 1 AP, in the second ability bucket, these are the ones we really care about now, okay, nightmare matchup 2 AP, grab and go 2 AP, Mid in, mid out, 2 AP, slot apprentice and outside apprentice, both 2 AP. I ain't gonna lie, your abilities on the second tier, definitely, definitely usable, okay? 88 spec catch. Now, when you look at Darius Slayton for a fraction of the price, bro, he's for 89 speed, 86 short, and an 89 deep pause at 6 1 with an 87 spec catch, bro. That's a fucking steal, man. I ain't got I ain't even gotta keep going, man. Hey yo, what the fuck? Now let's go into the next card, man. The next card is going to be the ball. Where is it? Oh, running back. You already know, man. They ended up dropping between both of the weeks. They ended up dropping two running backs. So we're gonna go over both of the joints. 
just so y'all can see what's shaking. Okay, one of the balls is going to be Tank Bixby, and then the other ball, Sean Tucker. Okay, both of them are going to be 90 pieces. You feel me? All right, bet. Listen, where the ball at? Bigsby going for about 600 bands, and then we got the, the Brody Sean Tucker going for another 620 fitted out bands. You know what I mean? We're going to compare these dudes. Now, listen, first and foremost, honorable mention to the Brody 88 overall. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. 88 overall. A chain just for the simple fact that he is an 89 speed and if you put the the badge on him he goes to a 90 speed okay he has a dope spec catch 70 spec catch and a 75 catches so if you into throwing to your your running back this is your guy right here the only reason why I put Jonathan Taylor here other than him it's just for the simple fact that the statistics stack a little bit more identical with Jonathan Taylor versus abilities. You know what I'm saying? I think A-Chain is a fire card for 169 bands at 90 speed, dope catching, but he doesn't have the trucking. And you're going to see that once we go to the, to the graph, all right? Now, Jonathan Taylor, 139 bands. You're going to see exactly why he's here because almost identical, okay? But I do think that A-Chain to be number one, but statistic wise, Taylor is more identical. If that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know how you know, have to, you, anyways, whatever. So we got from left to right, we got the ball tank, Bigsby in blue. Okay, Sean Tucker in red, and then we got Taylor in green. When it comes to speed, Bigsby and Taylor both 88, Tucker 89. Acceleration, Bigsby and Tucker both 89, Taylor 87. Carry, Bigsby 89, Tucker 92, Taylor 87. Change direction, Bigsby 88, Tucker 82, Taylor 86. Trucking, this is, this is what I'm talking about. So A-Chain had a 70 trucking, okay? That's why he's not on this chart, but he's a fire card, all right? I ain't taking nothing from the ball. Trucking, Bigsby, 90. Tucker, 88. Taylor, 86. Break tackle, Bigsby, 89. Tucker, 90. Taylor, 87. Is Bigsby and Tucker both worth 86? They both come with both tier one abilities, okay? Now, second tier abilities. They both come with armbar. They both come with bulldozer. The difference is... Tucker comes with running back apprentice for 2 AP. So just with that one alone, he's going to edge the ball. Bigsby, pause, all right? But Bigsby does come with grab and go, jukebox, and spin cycle. You see what I'm saying? So to me personally, depending on your play style, to me, I would say Tucker's the better option if you're a thrower. If you like into juking and all of that, you know what I mean? Trying to shake someone's boots off, then Bigsby's your guy at 88 speed. But if you bu budget B's bando to the core, Jonathan Taylor's your dude. Now, if you're really trying to turn up and throw to your running back and all of that, don't care about the trucking, then A chain's your guy. You feel what I'm saying? If that makes sense. Anyways, let's go over to the next position. It is going to be strong safety. Okay, but shout out, shout out to Tucker and shout out, shout out to Bigsby. You know why? Because I, I like when we see new talent in the NFL. I like when we see new faces. You know what I'm saying? I like new cars. I like old cars. I like old legends. You know, when they recycle cards over and over again, it's like, yo, come on, Brody. Switch it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Give us some variety. Anyways, 90 overall Brian Bands turned the fuck up this weekend, man. 600 bands for the ball. We are going to put the ball out there. Uh, who's the ball? He is a free safety. Though. I ain't going to lie to you. Okay? Can play strong safety as a secondary position. So just keep that in mind. Okay? Now, I'm going to give you guys an honorable mention here too. Just for the simple fact that, you know, this dude lacks one attribute that you might be looking for. Okay? Now, the ball we're going to throw up in there is Javon Holland. If I could ever find the ball. Oh, he's a strong safety, huh? My fault. See, I'll be fucking up, man. I'll be fucking up. No, he's a free safety. I'm bugging. I'm bugging out, y'all. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. You need to fuck you up, all right? Where's the Brody at? Come on, EA. There you go right there. I right, bet. Javon Holland, 100 bands, okay? Now, 
I'm gonna give you guys somebody else. Just for the simple fact, because we know that Javon Holland's man coverage is ass Ola. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if, if you're looking for more of a coverage, man coverage style dude, I'm going to give you the I'm gonna give you the heat right here, okay? It is going to be a breakout card, the bull Jair, Jair Brown. 87 speed, you throw that badge in there, he goes into an 88 speed. With an 88 man and an 88 zone. The only problem with him is that he's 5'11". That's the only problem. But he does have an OP88 jump. You know what I mean? So you ain't got nothing to worry about. But I'm just saying, like, overall, height-wise, y'all know height and speed, that's where we at in Madden. That's the crack cocaine of Madden, so that's what we stick to, right? All right, bet. So, P game. Brian Branch in blue, he is six foot. Javon Holland in red, he is 6'1". Okay? When it comes to speed, Branch 90, Holland 88. Brand, when it comes to acceleration, Branch 89, Holland 87. Jumping, Branch 84, Holland 83. Main coverage, Branch 81, Holland 76. This is why, see what I'm saying? Holland has a 76 man. Jair Brown has an 88. Feel me? I right, bet. When it comes to zone coverage, Branch 88, Holland 87. When it comes to play rate, Branch 88, Holland 87. Is Branch worth 600 bands? Listen, homies, he comes with tier one abilities, okay? Now, second tier, you can get pick artists for two AP. Yes, sir, finally we've seen some pick artists. Pause. Unfakeable two AP and then chuck out one AP. I think it's a fire card. It's Brian Branch. You know what I'm saying? The only thing, I wish they would've gave him my highest spec cash. I would I wish they would've gave him like a, like a glitchy spec cash. They only gave him a 68. Holland is a 66 and Brown is a 63. You feel what I'm saying? So they all evenly matched out. You would just have to depend on like the jumping and then the coverage stats. But I think overall, I think Brian Branch is a solid card. I think Holland can definitely keep up. Anyways, last position. My floor, y'all. I fucked up. All right, last position. <laughs> well, not last position. Second to last. Last before we get into some shmoney gang, you dig? All right, here we go. Left outside linebacker. They ended up dropping the ball. Frank Louvo. Louvo. Well, how you... Louvi. I always say Louvi. I don't know why. I'll be bugging, but... Frank Louvo. Or Louvo. Whatever the fuck. My man Frankie. Frankie L. Over, over here. 600 bands for the ball Frankie. All right, now... We're going to compare him to... You already know. You already know where I'm going with this, bro. These, man, you ain't even got... No cap. Y'all already know. What a boy. Ain't that Charles Haley going for about 108k87 overall, man. Chill. Here we go. From left to right, we got the ball Frankie in blue. 6'3". Then we got Charles Haley in red. He is 6'5". When it comes to speed, they both 87. Acceleration, Louvu 91. Haley, 88. Strength, Louvu 83. Haley, 86. Block share, Frankie, 87. Haley, 85. Power move, Louvu 77. Haley, 86. Finesse move, Louvu 88. Charles Haley, 82. I honestly think these dudes is evenly matched. As far as far as ability goes, like I'm gonna keep it all the way down with you, bro. It's tier one abilities for the ball, Frank Louvre. Okay. What I don't like, listen, they gave him reach elite for two EP, run stopper two EP, unfakeable two EP, speedster one EP. This is on tier two. But where where is the edge threat? Where you know where's Toro? Where you know like where, what y'all give him? Y'all ain't give him nothing. And that's what makes me mad. I'm going Haley all day, man. You feel know what I'm saying? I'm going Haley all day. Other than that, very similar, very similar. The only difference is Lugu has a 75 jump. Haley has an 84. Y'all know we like the, you know what I mean? We, we, we need him to get up. Charles Haley has the strength, block share, power move, and finesse move all in the 80s. Lugu has a 77 power move. So that's the only difference. Very identical cards, though. I would much rather go with Haley, number one, price-wise. And then number two, just for the simple fact that I feel like they dissed them on the abilities. You know what I mean? Like, I did, they did, they did homie greasy. Anyways, man. Is we talking money or what? Money gang, we in the building and yes, know that. Talk to him. Now, listen, man. If you are new to the channel, you have no idea what the fuck you is looking at. Everything is color-coordinated. Let me break it down for you. You dig? Okay. 
this gray box is going to be the market based off of month.gg okay this green box right here is going to be the knitted types aka the cheapest valued cards all right pink is always going to be promo specific purple is always going to be what you sell at yellow is always going to be profit okay now you always want to reference these colors to how we do these sets okay if you look at the bottom tabs i have all the promos and then i have the master breakdown of all the promos now i'll show you exactly how this works okay these are the overalls as you can see we'll take this 86 for example overall this 86 the cheapest 86 for this promo is going to be 61,600. Market value for 86s is 62,600. Most expensive is going to be 69,6. Okay, this right column right here is going to tell me, it's going to give me a percentage. It's going to let me know that 69,600 is 111% over the market value. That's, that's what it's saying. Okay, now we're going to be talking about a couple different sets. Number one, this 87 overall set. Okay, now, when it comes to these 87s, I'm going to show you exactly how to do them, and then I'm going to give you the cards that's hot. All right? Now, you're going to want to sell these 87s for about 175 bands. Okay? You're going to need two Team of the Week 84s, 80, any 84s. You want those 84s for about 29.4 or less. You need two of them. That's going to come out to 58.8. All right, then you're gonna need three 84s, okay? Now those three 84s, you wanna get those 84s for about 21, 100 or less. Hopefully you got some in the stash, you can just throw them in there, okay? You're gonna sell that card. Okay, total set value is going to be 122K. That means that it's gonna cost you 122,000 to build this set out, okay? You sell that card for 175, after taxes comes out, oh no, my fault. Uh, after taxes comes out to 157.5. Okay, the difference is going to be 35,400. That's going to be your profit. Okay, those three cars that you want to sell. Number one is going to be David Montgomery, the running back for the Lions, Brody. Yes, sir. Okay. Darius Slayton, 87 overall wide receiver for the Giants. I already showed you the ball. He cooking, all right? And then 87 overall, Stephen Gilmore, cornerback for the Vikings. Those three cards right there, you do them one a piece, that's almost 100K, 100 bands. You already know. Now, there is one set I'm going to show you, two sets I'm going to show you, okay? And I did them just to show you what's shaking, all right? This 84 overall set right here. Okay, keep game. You're gonna wanna sell this card for 37.9. Okay, 37.9. It's gonna take three 80s. Okay, any three 80s. You want those 80s for about, let's see right here, 3,000, about three bands. Anywhere around three bands and under to build this set out. Okay. That's gonna come out, total set value is gonna be 9,200. You sell that card for 37.9. After taxes comes out to 34,110. The difference is gonna be 24,900, okay? Now, you're gonna be able to sell this card for 37, right? Now, I'm gonna show you, peep game, okay? Boom, it's right here. This is the, this is the one I'm talking about. 84 overall team of the week elite fantasy pack. Once you get this fantasy pack, okay, you're gonna wanna sell these two cards. And I'm gonna show you. I did it just to show you, okay? Number one is going to be Josh Sweat, okay? And then number two is gonna be the ball, Tucker Craft. I'm gonna grab Josh Sweat and I wanna show you exactly how much he's going for, okay? This is an 84 overall. Peep game. If I go down to auction, 33 bands. Is you digging what I'm saying, man? I don't even care for this card. Truthfully. So we'll just sell it for about, what? 32.9 or something. You know what I mean? 31, 31.9. Not, not too crazy. You know what I mean? Boom. I did the set. So we, we cooking up. Whatever. It don't matter. Right? Pick game. Now, I'm going to show you the other set. That was this one. That was the 84 joint, okay? Remember, 
you need 380s. The other one that's cooking up is going to be this 82 Uncommon set. 82 Uncommon. You need 579s, okay? You're going to be able to sell this 82 for 33 bands, okay? You're going to need 579s. Okay, that's gonna total set value is gonna be 10 bands. That's slight change, Brodies. You set that for 33 after taxes comes out to 29,790, right? Okay, the difference is 19 bands. You feel you feel what I'm saying? 19 bands. So that means you go look, you you go, but profit is crazy, brothers. And let me show you. This is the 82 overall team of the week uncommon fantasy pack. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you exactly who to sell. Okay? Boom. It's a fantasy pack. Number one. Who you want to sell number one is going to be Damian Pierce. He's going to go for 33 bands off the jump. Okay? Kazir White is next up for like 34, I think it was. And then you can sell Bo Nix for about like 30 to 32. But if I grab my man Damian Pierce here, P game. You ready for this one, right? Watch. P game. Just so you can see. This 82 overall. 28. Look, look at that. You see what I'm saying? 28 bands, 27. You know what I mean? Like, you could really cook up on this joint. Brody, and I'm 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 gonna be OD with it. I'm gonna be OD with it. Cause it costs you 10,000 to build it, right? Brody's selling for like 30 bands. Get the bread up, you know what I mean? Like, even if you sell them for 28, right? Let's say you sell them for 28, 25, you still, you still on the come up, regardless of the fact. Okay, now let's talk about this set right here. Because this is this is what one set that you can make. Now you're gonna need about 500 k to build this set out. But let's say you want to build out Louvre, right? Okay, you're gonna want to sell them for 636 bands. Okay, you're gonna need any four. 87s. So you want those 87s for about 101k or less. Four of them. It's gonna come out to about 400 bands. Okay. Then you're gonna need one 87 team of the week. It's gonna cut. You're gonna want to get that for about 112k and under. Okay. Total set value is gonna come out to 516. You sell that car for 636. After taxes comes out to 572. The difference is gonna be 58,000. That's 60 bands, Brodies. 60. Is you feeling me? You know what I mean? Like, I'm telling you, there's, there's some money in this team of the week, Joe, right here. Okay? Next up, 88 overall fields. Okay, you're going to want to sell him for about 187K. You need four 85s. Any 85s. You want those 85s for about 29.7. So that's 20, 29,700 or less. All right? Then you're gonna need 185 team of the week. You want that 85 for about 33.7 or less. Total set value is gonna be 152k. You sell it for 187. After taxes comes out to 168. The difference is 15 bands. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if you want to do that, but we still, you know, you still getting bread, right? Anyways, I got you, man. Let's get back to the cards, you okay? Got the last card to go. Last joke. You already know who it is, man. The ball, Joe Burrow. Yes, sir. The ball, the Brody. Joe Cool. Icy Cool, man. We're going to go over that card right now. And that's going to be, what is he at? He's a 90 overall Joe Burrow. Probably going for about like 600 bands. 600 bands, you already know. And then we're going to throw in there. Oh, we're going to throw in there the ball, Will Levis. Now, I spoke about him a couple weeks ago. We're finally going to cop this joint. 120 bands. That's a steal. I'm actually, I'm actually might actually cop this joint right now. 120. Let me get that joint. I want to give it a shot. I want to see what's shaking. Okay, now. Okay, let's take a look at the graph so you guys can't see what's up. From left to right, we got the ball, Joe Burrow in blue. Now, remember, he does have an over-the-top four release, which in theory or is traditional two release. Okay, then we got Will Levis in red. He is um, a three-quarters three release, which is a slinger one. When it comes to speed, they both 79. Joe, when it comes to throw power, Burrow, 89, Levis, 90. Short accuracy, Burrow, 91, Levis, 87. Medium accuracy, Burrow, 89, Levis, 87. Deep accuracy, they both 88. Throw under pressure, Burrow, 89, Levis, 90. Now, very both similar cards. Is Will Levis worth 
600 bands. He comes with all tier one abilities. You already know gift wrap, persistent. Um, I, that's the only ones I like, to be honest, too. Now, in the tier two ability, you can get quick draw for one AP, and you can also get gunslinger for four AP. So it is a five situation, but to me, it ain't worth 600 bands when you could get Will Levis that has arguably the best release in the game. And you can also get Gunslinger with him. You know what I mean? And Gift Wrap as well. For 135 bands, you can't lose, brodies. Anyways, if the video helped you out, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell to fuck on your dick. <laughs>